Oh, the Kurds are, are fighting for their survival now, and I think it's quite clear that Turkey is intent on squeezing them, squashing them, ensuring that they cannot survive as an independent or, or entity. Uh, their odds with Damascus may not be mu much better, but I think there's some hope from their perspective that Damascus's weak position and potentially the support of Moscow uh, could allow them to carve out some space under central government control. But effectively, the bottom line is that the Turks are on the front line now uh, fighting them with, with guns, and, and, and Damascus was the only way they could turn. Mm. Uh, there had been many warnings of a humanitarian crisis in the wake of this Turkish invasion into, Tyri into Syria. Will this deal now with Syria and the Kurds really give them more than hope to save lives? Well, I think actually this could um, emerge as, a, as some form of stabilizing deal. I think that if the Syrian regime, if the government moves its forces up into the north of the country, um, I think that will uh, create some pause for thought for um, for Turkey. Turkey doesn't want a war with the Syrian government. At the same time, you're likely to see Russian mediation uh, between Turkey and Damascus in an attempt to, to prevent wider conflict, Russia being the one country talking to all of these different parties. And so I think actually if the Syrian government does move forward, it may help to, 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 to dial down the conflict for the moment. I think Turkey is clearly an intent on moving forward 20 or 30 kilometers past the border to secure the safe zone that it wants to keep uh, Kurds out of. But beyond that, I think we could see a more rapid de-escalation of conflict than is perhaps envisaged. What about these calls uh, uh, for Turkey to back off uh, from not just uh, the French president, uh, from the German chancellor, even U.S. President Donald Trump himself uh, saying Turkey should not move in even after it pulled its troops out? Well, I think everyone is united in their desire to see Turkey pull back. Uh, there's clearly concerns about what conflict between them and the Kurds will do. There are risks that ISIS prisoners and detainee camps will be released. So everyone is putting pressure on, the, on Turkey to, to pull back. But the fact of the matter is, is that Turkey sees this through an existential lens. It regards the Kurds as an existential threat. It has been saying for some time now that it will invade uh, Syria to prevent the Kurds from establishing uh, an independent statelet. And I think this attack was anticipated. And I don't think these statements are going to do much to, to, to call off the attack. I think where they may make some difference is limiting the ambitions of what Turkey is trying to do. And perhaps you will see uh, less maximalistic aims uh, than might have initially been the case in the face of this international pressure. Now, this deal we were mentioning before um, was brokered by Russia, one of the only countries who's speaking to all the parties, as you said. Could the Russian army ever be brought in for an eventual clash with Turkish troops? I don't think there's any scenario in which uh, you're likely to see a Turkish-Russian clash. I think a Turk a Russian uh, peacekeepers of some form might come in eventually, much as they have in southern Syria, uh, military police to try and guard a front line or keep a peace. Uh, but Russia has no desire to enter into the conflict if other countries are coming together. Um, it has a relationship with Damascus, but it is also playing, seeing a lot of attention on preserving a relationship with Ankara that has grown closer to it over recent years, that has drifted away from the West, and Moscow is not going to want to imperil that relationship. What about the U.S. strategy here now, one week after it made this announcement to pull out these 1,000 soldiers out of the border area? Why was that? Or why does the U.S. think that it was that was the right strategy for it? Well, whether it was right or wrong is, is, is I think, beside the point. The, the, the issue is that President Trump wants out of Syria and that he's been saying for a long time now that uh, U.S. troops have to withdraw from the country. He made an initial announcement last December. That was temporarily postponed. But I think we all should have seen this coming. I think Trump's uh, uh, bottom line position is that he wants to withdraw the American U.S. troops from, from conflict in the Middle East. And this is the best way to do it. I don't think he really cares what happens once Americans leave. He's content to let other players pick up the pieces. And so it's been done in a very abrupt, messy, chaotic fashion. But I don't think President Trump is particularly worried by that.